On the evening of April 14, 1865, Abraham Lincoln was attending a play at Ford's Theater in Washington, D.C. The president's box was situated on the balcony level, offering an unobstructed view of the stage. A Confederate sympathizer named John Wilkes Booth entered the theater's backstage area and stealthily approached the presidential box. At this moment, the president's bodyguard, John F. Parker, should have been on alert. Regrettably, Parker had been granted permission to leave due to a perceived lack of threats. Consequently, Booth advanced towards Lincoln from behind and fired a single shot into the back of Lincoln's head, severing his spinal cord. The gunshot's sudden sound startled the audience, leading to confusion and panic. Booth then leaped from the president's box onto the stage, exclaiming the words, Sic Semper Tyrannis, which means, thus always to tyrants. Upon landing, Booth managed to escape through a side door, fleeing the theater and disappearing into the night.